Women in football are a force to reckon with. In February this year, the US women's soccer team won a landmark agreement over equal pay. In April, Barcelona women's team broke a 23-year-old record of attendance at Camp Nou, the iconic home ground of football club Barcelona. This month, the Women's Euro 2020 final set a new record. It was the most attended match at any European Championship ever. Women in many countries have fought long battles to play football. And this coming October, India was all set to host the Under-17 Women's World Cup. But on Tuesday, the 16th of August, FIFA suspended the All India Football Federation. And India's hosting privileges of the World Cup, they were taken away until further notice. Why did FIFA suspend AIFF? What are the implications of this decision and why does it matter? FIFA is a governing body of world football and AIFF is a governing body of Indian football. FIFA cited two primary reasons for banning AIFF, third-party interference and violation of protocol. Let's break it down. The AIFF administration was in a bit of a mess. In May 2022, the Supreme Court removed Praful Patel as AIFF president. He had already crossed the term limit for president back in December 2020. Plus, the Delhi High Court had found that the AIFF constitution violated certain rules of the National Sports Development Code 2011. And so, the constitution was being redrafted. Now, in place of the president, the Supreme Court appointed a three-member Committee of Administrators, or COA, to run the show at the National Federation. The COA was to finalize the revised draft of the constitution. Now, FIFA was monitoring this whole situation. And in June 2022, a FIFA delegation landed in India to review the ongoing process. It held meetings with the COA, the state associations and other stakeholders. It then gave AIFF a strict timeline. What was this timeline? A new constitution by the 31st of July and new elections by the 15th of September. FIFA made it clear to the AIFF, if you don't follow the deadlines, you will be banned. In mid-July, the COA submitted the draft of the constitution to FIFA, the Supreme Court and the state associations. The state associations were not happy with this draft. They complained to the Supreme Court that several of its clauses were discriminatory and illogical. FIFA also recommended some changes. The draft constitution gave 50% of the votes to choose the president to eminent players. FIFA said that players should not get more than 25% of the votes. Why? Because if the COA gets to appoint 50% of the voters, state associations, which also have one vote each, will lose much of their say. Currently, only state associations can vote for president. But the Supreme Court dismissed this suggestion and gave AIFF the green flag to hold elections as per proposed schedule. It said that 50% player representation will remain and that the constitution will be finalized after the elections. FIFA did not take this well. It threatened suspension on accounts of undue third-party interference, but the COA assured that all was well, except that things were not all that well. The unhappy state associations were meeting the ousted Praful Patel to air their grievances. So the COA filed a contempt petition against them and Praful. The court warned the state associations not to use backdoor methods by going to Praful. While all this drama was happening, AIFF released the names of 36 players to be included in the list of voters. 36 out of 72 that is, 50% of the voters. FIFA was like, okay, bahut ho gaya. you are suspended. To quickly recap the two primary reasons for suspension, first, third-party interference, the COA and the Supreme Court running the show at AIFF. And second, the violation of protocol, 50% of total voters appointed by the COA. Also, the elections were being held before the constitution was finalized, which means that the COA would continue to hold power in the interim. 
The ban means that India can no longer host the under-17 Women's World Cup unless the ban is lifted. Indian national teams and clubs are banned from participating in international competitions and Indian football players can no longer attend any FIFA or Asian Football Confederation development or training programs. FIFA has made it clear, for the ban to be lifted, the COA has to go. So how has India responded to the ban? The Supreme Court is telling the government ki bhai FIFA se baat karo and the government is telling the Supreme Court ki hum baat kar rahe hain. Jab tak ye log baat kar rahe hain, let's see how we landed up in this mess. The first Supreme Court order to redraft the AIFF constitution was given back in 2017 and it has still not been finalized. In April this year, the Indian government slashed its funding to the AIFF from Rs 30 crore in 2019-20 to Rs 5 crore in 2022-23. Poor performance, they said. And of course, netas or betas of netas continue to hold sway over sports administrations, whether it is the AIFF, the BCCI or the Archery Association of India. India is already very low on FIFA's international rankings for both men and women and the ban will set them back even further. But most immediately, it clouds the future of the Indian women's football team that was preparing for the upcoming Under-17 World Cup. The subscription model is something that keeps news laundry afloat, but we need hundreds of thousands of people to completely transform the news ecosystem. So you pay for news, so it serves you. So click on the link with this video, subscribe to News Laundry and pay to keep news free, or garf se kaho, मेरे खर्च पर आजाद है खबरें